Honestly, it was hard for me just in general to do. I know there was like a lot of criticism and like hate around it for Shane specifically because I didn't want to make him look bad or have his fans like pissed off at me. I knew Shane would be able to make it 100% real without any like bias. And I like fully trusted him to, to do that. Haha, <laughs> hey, what is up party people? Yo, it has been a fat minute. Good morning, Jake Paul. This is like a really quick video. I don't even know like how to talk to the camera anymore. It has been so long, but I wanted to make a really, really quick video. I'm gonna make this as short as possible about this whole Shane Dawson mind of Jake Paul thing. It has been everywhere on the internet. It's been trending. People are talking about it. It's almost getting out of control. You guys are asking me questions about it and I kind of just wanted to make a video because I haven't really talked about it. I haven't like shared my side of the story on it and I wanted to answer some questions and talk a little bit about it in more detail. I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested to hear more about it. Yeah. So let's dive right in. Uh, guys, basically like, I, I kind of just want to say this, but the series or like, it's, it's eight parts, right? I know there was like a lot of criticism and like hate around it for Shane specifically. And like, I didn't want to do it at first. Like it was kind of like a, a talking back and forth process because I didn't want to make him look bad or have his fans like pissed off at me because a lot of people were like, oh, don't give like him a platform and so on and so forth. And I get that and like, I understand that. So I knew Shane would be able to position it and like make it 100% real without any like bias. And I like fully trusted him to, to do that. If you're a Shane fan and you didn't want him to do this, I think you'll really respect it and respect the series and everything that we talked about by the end of the series. Whether you're a fan of me or if you hate me or whatever, just like go into it with an open mind and open heart and like just watch the content without any preconceived things or thoughts about me or Shane or what we're gonna talk about or how you think the series is gonna go. I would just say like just clear your mind and just watch it. That's really all I'm asking from you guys. Honestly, it was hard for me just in general to do. Opening up to Shane and I mean to the internet, I guess, like about things that I had never talked about and things that have like really affected me personally. Letting someone into your life in general like to judge you and film the whole entire thing and like film your friends and just talk about your life in general is not easy. It's not fun. I know there's definitely gonna be some things in the series as I watch it that I like don't like or don't want to remember or like things that irritate me but the only way you can get better is if you acknowledge those things and accept those things and accept who you are um, and learn from that and then like move on. I had to put all my trust into Shane like I said and I, I still don't know like I haven't watched any of the episodes or anything like it's literally been up to him to craft this narrative so hopefully he doesn't uh, but seriously, Shane, please, bro. You'll be watching this video and it's already out, so yeah, uh, great. But I wanted to answer some of your guys' questions about the series, so I tweeted, follow me on Twitter, at Jake Paul. No. I know it's been a while since I've even made a video. You guys have been asking me, where am I? Uh, I was on vacation. There's gonna be a whole, like, travel vlog coming out in the next day or so that you guys can watch. Like, it's it's a dope video. We put, uh, we put a lot of effort into it at the same time while we were having fun. Another! Update today is a huge day because it is the second drop of my new clothing line RNBO rise and be original today the second drop came out you can go to shop rnbo.com right now to get yourself a t-shirt or a sweatshirt there's only 500 of each item guys we're making this like an ex ex we're making this a super exclusive uh, clothing line. So go and get your shirts and sweatshirts before they sell out. Anyways, enough with the plugging. Time to answer your questions. So the first question from Toria2205. Did you have influence on the editing of the video? No, I didn't have any influence at all. It's literally completely up to Shane, which is kind of scary. At Shining Rick asks, did you and Shane develop a friendship? Um, yes, we did. Yeah, I mean we got close like over this process like I haven't opened up to anyone really besides like my close friends And so yeah, we, we definitely became friends during this Shane. I love you, bro at loving Rick asks, Did you per se expose anyone? Um, I didn't expose anyone. I don't know if expose is the right word I kind of just told I, I just told my truths about anything that Shane asked me about different people or situations Oh hell no. 
I didn't want to expose anyone. I didn't want to cause any more drama than that than what was already out there. So I kind of just told my side of the story, which isn't out there. Thomas Petro asks, shout out to Thomas. Um, are you excited to see what Shane has made out of what y'all filmed? I'm excited to see. I'm nervous at the same time. It's a lot to like let someone just film whatever they want and ask whatever they want and then like just watch it afterwards. It's kind of scary. Jericho Vibes asks, did Shane tell you what it is really about? Yes, he did. He told me before the series started what it was really about. I know he's been like hyping it up like he didn't tell me and that I was gonna be pissed off. Who said that? Who said that? But I mean, that's just like hype and like I respect him for doing that. It built, it built everything. But I honestly, I wanted to know what it was about. I needed to know what it was about because it could have just made me look like a dumbass. Even though it's about like this like sociopath thing, I know I'm not. A sociopath you are crazy I was like yeah bro like go for it like let's let's like let's do it and Malik Abraham asks are you talking about the whole Jalissa stuff that happened last year yes that will be in the later part of the series whoa, 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 whoa. that's definitely the part I'm most nervous about <laughs> yeah we talked about it guys that is it that is that was all the questions that I really wanted to answer um, for you guys. I love you guys. Smash that subscribe button. I'm going to be back to vlogging soon and I love you guys. Bye. Oh, baby, you already know it is the hottest merch in the game. We got backpacks. We got t-shirts and my favorite, the status sweatshirt. Join the everyday bro movement. Fanjoy.co backslash Jake Paul. Let's go.